The drivers, characters, and events in Tokar are fictional. Nobody was harmed in the filming of this production. Now sit back and enjoy the race. Welcome to season two of Tokar. Today, race two for the Splint Cup series as they take on the low banks, I guess, of Auto Club Speedway. We're expecting an absolute barn burner today. We saw a very, very great race last season at Michigan. The cars are very similar today. The setup's very similar and the track conditions are very similar. Despite this being a night race, we all have high hopes and I think we might see the best race of the season. I'm Kyle, I'm here with Mike and I'm here with Matt. Tristan on assignment today, gonna help out that 88 car on the pit box. After the result of Daytona, he decided to lock in on that this week. He'll be back in the booth next week. But for now, it's just the three of us. Gentlemen, what are we gonna see today? We're gonna get our eight wide racing finally, guys. We're gonna get eight, nine, 10 wide racing even, especially if they start using the grass. Look at all that real estate down there not being used for anything this place is going to be a parking lot here shortly might as well you get all the good out of it as we could you know i think we're actually going to be 11 12 or 13 wide um oh. to, first off so there's a lot of space at this track we have 42 cars out there we can get 42 wide it's as simple as that uh, and, and it's it's just up to them on if they keep going the right direction or not because you know all these guys kind of suck well, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for us here at Auto Club. Uh, following last week, let's get an update on any potential injuries. Mike, what do you got for us? Well, luckily nobody's going to be out this week because of injury, but we do have some people we need to talk about. To start off, one of our co-champions from last season, Tyrese Halifax, took a really hard lick into the turn two wall. He has a splintered shoulder after that, and you're probably wondering, how's it splinter? It sounds like it would take a hell of a lick. Well, after his wreck in Atlanta last year, the, the surgeons, they... They didn't really know how to put him back together. He was really beyond repair, but they just did everything they could, so they started just gathering things. They even went outside and started gathering sticks. So they used a stick to replace his shoulder, and that measly little branch wouldn't be able to stand up in a big impact, so uh, it's ruined. But Tyrese does not like anybody else sitting in his car. He was a little bit upset after Kansas, even though he won the championship, because he had to share it with Tathrima. So he doesn't want to get out of that car unless he absolutely has to, so he's going to be racing through the paint tonight anyway. Zach Outback and Rustin and Ketchup both have a case of massive crisps after slamming into each other in turn one. That was just an embarrassing crash. I couldn't believe what I was watching. And then later on in the race, Chunk Charles Wagon got absolutely bodied by our car, driven by Demonde Plywood, and got sent head on into the turn three wall. That gave him a hernia. Just all that weight going into the seat belts. It's lucky the belts didn't break, but you know, they're reinforced. I think he has a few extras, so he's just going to have to deal with that. Then after hitting the wall, he slid down the track, and Pris Call ran into him at a pretty high speed. And just all that weight of Chunk's car just... Pr Pris's car just stopped. And that caused him to bruise his spine. That, that's impressive. I didn't know you could bruise bones. Uh, at least not that one. And then Harold Clot decided, I want to be a part of this wreck too. And just decided to fly right on in, slammed into a bunch of cars. And sure enough, he had to reach over and press that button in his car for angina. He's been nice in his chest all week because he thinks that works. But, you know, who, who's to tell him he's wrong? But, Seven Wars, you know, I would consider this the eighth, but it ain't gonna stop him. And then we got one of our Asiago brothers, old Limburger, the Elder, got absolutely slammed in the driver's door and flipped over in turn three. Unfortunately, his elbows ran against the roll bars when that happened. Now he has a case of Swiss elbow. If you've ever seen Swiss cheese, you know what that looks like, so that's not good for your elbow, you know. That's the elbow he uses to turn left, which is most of our season, so you better get that iced up and ready to go. But other than that, Surgeon General told the rest of them to get over it and get ready to race. Thank you, Mike. Now, before we can get started, let's show you where they're starting today. As we go through our starting grid here at Auto Club Speedway, on pole, starting P1, we have the 04 car of Daniel Suez. That team had a terrible nightmare last night where they couldn't even get the car running before the race began. Thankfully for them, not only is the car hopefully going to run here, they're on pole to start the thing. Alongside him is Walter Cooler in the Napa 9 car. Third place is going to be Brody Kraft in the 48 car. One week removed from solving his identity fraud. Can they find victory lane today? The 02 car of York is going to be in fourth today. And then the top five is going to be rounded out by the 67 car of Arkansas Jones. First call in the three car is going to be six today with our resident senior citizen, Harold Claw in P7. Eighth place today is Down Under in that 76 machine. Ninth place is going to be Limburger Asiago in the cheese at 57. And rounding out our top 10, Daddy McBetty in the 87 car. In the next row, we got Willie Studs in the 17 Coca-Cola car on his outside. Zach Outback once again in that Chevy SS. Last year's co-champion, to 3 Masato in the 77, going to be starting inside of the next row, with Kurt and Kyle Busch in the 21 on his outside. 
Tristan's BFF, Mateus Paiva, starting that 32 Tide Machine. On his outside, we got the 45 of Braden Bunch. Next, we got Mario Zandretti, hoping to turn his career around, not looking good so far. And last year's champion, Rustard and Ketchup, on his outside. Then we have Shaquille Oatmeal, newcomer in the 47, and Cheesy in the 10 car. And starting the back half of the field, we have 21st, Packer Petty in the 69 car. To his outside, last season's co-champion of the Splint Cub Series, Tyrese Halifax. Behind them, we have Raymond Hans in the 03 car and Bellagio Asiago in the 70. Rounding out the top 25 is Tatri Masato, and his outside, we have Jake Joe in the 2 car. Behind them, Tristan's doing a terrible job up on the box, clearly because James Icup starts 27th. On his outside, you can't hear me in the 58. Behind them, we have Making Music in the 8 car. And next to him, the state-owned vehicle, the 55. This week, it's Bob Sled. 31st today is Joe Swanson in the 71 team. I guess Simon couldn't get them a better starting spot. 32nd is going to be Sweet Baby Ray Cyrus in that 05 Walmart machine. Behind them, the 66 car, the least popular man in sports, Tom and Walls, with 27, the Cyborg, Conroy Rosario alongside him in the 27 car. Behind them, the 65 car of Chris the Catheter Keen, and alongside him is that 13 car of Ginger Joe. Behind that, the most dangerous man walking this earth, Babe Juth in the 33 Caterpillar Machine, with another large fellow alongside him, Charles Trunk Wagon. Behind that, we have the four car, Brad Omen, one of the Band-Aid boys, and alongside him is Koi Origami in that 96 mobile. Then we have the 08 car. That, of course, piloted by DUI Div. And the starting out last is Muscular's Atrophy. And there's a story here. Before the race, before we even planned on qualifying, Dr. Mel practiced crew chief for this one team, left their transponder in Muscular's Atrophy's bicycle. He proceeded to then go around the track during qualifying in his bike just to see where the bumps in the track might be, not realizing it would overwrite his actual time he took in the car. So if we can get the standings up really quick, this one team put in an absolutely abhorrent lap in qualifying all over a minute long in this one car because he rode his bike around the infield and it counted as a lap. Terrible, terrible misfortune for this team. Standard operating procedure for Dr. Mel practice. They're going to have a huge hole to climb out of today. Well, hole. before we get started, Let's throw it to Jason Payson with the command. Drivers, start your engines. And there it is. They will, and they have. The field's going to begin to roll off of the pit road here. I am unbelievably excited for the racing we're expecting to see today. Oh, somebody having trouble on the pit road there. Oh, tremendous. You can't hear me slow, but... Oh, no, it's further oh, back than happening. that. happening. Yeah, somebody did oh, not get before. going there. We're going to have to find out who it might have been. Like Brad an oopsie. Oman. Yeah, he was like up there, wasn't he? No, he was towards the back. You're getting it sorted well, out. As they catch up to the back half of the field, we have a race to start. And as they say, the show must go on. This is going to be an absolute classic, I think, though, gentlemen. We're in for a treat. This is a very, very popular racing facility. Future Amazon Warehouse parking lot, as we all know. But back in the day, we saw some classic races, both with stock cars and Indy cars here. I think we're going to see more of the same today. Daniel Sua is going to lead us off into what must be one of the most competitive races we'll have all season. You both mentioned it earlier. Four, five, even six wide as possible here. Who knows how 42. far down to the grass they might go. We could see 42 wide for all we know. One might even be in the fence while it happens. But nonetheless, lock in. If you have a snack, I better you better save it for an hour because you're not going to want to get up once. This is going to be probably one of the best races we'll have all season long. Jason Payson bringing the field around turn four, where he'll make the sharp left turn down to the pit road. 60 laps here at Auto Club today. 60 chances to get further ahead. 60 chances for your race to end. But it all starts here. Daniel Suez leads him to the green. Another day, another boggy. We're green. Boogity, boogity. Very, One thing very I want to point start. out as we get this thing rolling is as you can tell, the lanes are very defined here at Auto Club Speedway. What I'm hoping is that they don't get caught off guard by what happens down the back. Uh, and you'll, you'll see it in one of these camera angles. Right there. Someone might get confused. They might think there's a chicane there. We'll hmm. see how it plays out throughout the night. Luckily, there's no pain on them uh, grooves, so hopefully they won't 
obey it too much. We got the three car in the wall up there. That's Pris call and the leader. Uh, oh, They're trying to them. paint their own grooves, Ooh. Mike. What is the catheter up to back there? Look at this pack. That's like seven wide back there. Some shit. Man, Incredible. four or five all through the pack as they narrow up into Look turn at that. one here. You know, these tires take a minute to get Whoa. to temperature. The bottom group is going to have a really hard Suez time. Suez in it. He's in the wall. Oh, the state okay. be able to reckon oh, Conroy is back. Right. It's just Looks Conroy. Like I think the OA also got a big chunk of that. We're going to race back to the line here with most of the field intact, at least for now. Oh, we see it right there. Harold can't hold it on the bottom. Oh, Lindberger in the wall. Down under in the wall. Ooh. Looks like ee, they might be okay. They'll be all right. As they cross the line, four wide to take the yellow. Wow. That wasn't even oh, for man. the lead. Not even close. Look at that. That's a gaggle. We're in for a treat today, fellas. A kerfuffle. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Getting civilized oh. civilized i think we're okay oh the two car no the two car's gonna get turned isn't he he's yep, trying to oh, oh 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 he saved oh. it all right oh 66 <laughs> in danger back there oh. too oh where's he oh. going they're angry what are they mad about we only ran I, like a lap i think they're all trying to pit which cannot possibly benefit them tire heat is the biggest factor here they're all gonna put new cold tires on for some reason Look at that. That's air body. As we might as well cover this. Uh, here comes the whole field down into pit road. What are every we man see? on every crew getting ready to do a pit stop? Also, if you look at our scoring monitor, we only have 41 cars who started this race. We're going to have to find out who the car oh. that didn't is. It might be Macon because he's he coming comes. out of the pits right now. Gonna have well, to that's start. some inconvenient timing for him to be doing all that. That was premeditated. Yep. Oh, Mario Zandretti's Ooh. about to miss his box. Oh, my God. Causing problems already. He hasn't been on the track for more than three seconds. The two team already made their stuff. Looks like a lot of these cars opted for two tires. Some guy's still coming in while guys are coming out. In and out. And Sue is making a 90 degree turn into his pit box. Oh, come on, Harold. Whoa, Use your mirrors. Harold. Speaking like... of in and out, we are on the West Coast. Oh, it's like gosh Tristan... dang darn. Tristan got his car out and... You know, an acceptable amount of time, but, you know, he's got to pick it up. Oh, well, there's oh. some more work for him. Oh, that's a great view. <laughs> oh, somebody got turned. Nah, they're driving good. We'll got to go oh. back and see what happened to the 27, then we'll look at that. Yeah, we'll check it out. Oh! Wrong. Well, oh. He, he's he's coming back for more. <laughs> We're desperately trying to get you a replay. These guys will not let it happen. What is happening? Oh, oh well, the brakes. I think... I think Whoa! I installed Don't the brakes. Don't you damage that stayed on vehicle. Nah, I put the brakes on there. They work. All right, well, I think we're okay. I think we're finally okay. What happened? Taking another look at things. Finally, looks like the stayed on mobile bobsled in that 55 got up in the wall, couldn't quite get free, and then all of these guys squished together off turn two, pushing up. Five. Why? Just the natural arc of the corner. Got that oh. 27 turned. DUI div with a big hit behind the 27 car. He might have gotten it righted if it wasn't for old Dewey. He's, He's starting to point it back straight. It's not that damaged, though. I think they might be able to get going and have a pretty solid race from here as long as they can stay out of trouble. Taking a hashtag look at things uh, as they transpired as all these cars came off pit road. It looks like Down Under... Uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to point this out. Down Under is in the Holden Commodore, right? The 29 is the quote-unquote Chevy SS. This could have been a covert operation from the Down Under team to try and inflict pain and damage onto the team of Zach Outback for still running that Chevy SS while they're in the Holden Commodore. This could be a whole manufacturer deal. We don't know. But what we do know is that Conroy Rosario almost wow. plowed through three vehicles while he left there. <laughs> wow. He wants his spots back. And it is dire straits for Conroy Rosario. And I'm Ken Squire. I do want to point out the crash clause as we levitate a little bit there. Now, I'm not at liberty to fully discuss or disclose what the crash clause is for our drivers that enter the state-owned 55 vehicle. But what I can say is you simply don't want to be at fault for any damage that happens to this thing. You don't. You really don't. Um, Trust me on that. So... Bob sled today, keeping keeping his eyes peeled, making sure 
he brings that thing home in one piece and he better we got some cars on pit road again here as we are taking one to go yep. uh some of these guys involved in the pit road kerfuffle uh some of those i don't know maybe they're topping off on fuel maybe they just they need to get a lug nut tight even though there's only one on each wheel man got a bunch of them it i mean as we see a lot of as we see a lot in NASCAR, when you need to get fuel lines to the finish up, let's go down, get top, come right back out. You get fuel line come. to the finish up? You know? Those were the words, words that you words, came out of your mouth. Words can be in any order, any order you want. People just choose to keep them one way. I chose the other. As you see here, Jason Payson, the lights are off on that pace car. We're going to get doubled up here in turn three, I think. Let's see. Got Brody Craft leading the way. You are in second and third place, Arkansas Jones. There they go. So orderly and organized the way they do that. They're trained very well. I mean, there's severe consequences if they don't do that exactly that way. Um, once again, like Matt said earlier, there are certain things we're not allowed to discuss, at least publicly. Yeah, yeah don't. You yeah. see but, those um, videos of those like marching bands and shit where they're perfectly in sync. Do you think they do that because they want to? I don't As we know. come back down for the green here. Who's going to have the better start? It's going to be the insiders is that outside going to get the advantage like they seem to, and there it is Whoa. again. Whoa! You know, Everybody we saw twitches. A, we saw a pretty even start in the initial start of the race. This time was nothing like that. The 48s are already getting freight trained. He might get back to clear of these guys, though, entering the corner. Now, before we inevitably have a disaster on our hands, let's once again talk about these tires. Tire heat is the name of the game. You want to have your tires out as long as you possibly can. That's where they're going to get the grip they need to really use these bottom two, three grooves of the track. Right now, I'm sure you'll see them all wash up. That does go away after they get tire heat. But for some reason, they keep pitting. And there they go, up the hill. Mm. Oh, they might be all right. Come on, Mario. Get through that. Oh, our car. It's okay. He's oh, all right. Oh, my God. He took Matt's advice. He's going through the grass. Is he going to merge? Sled. Saw his life flash before his eyes and after his eyes. The Tumasato about to turn James Icup oh, up there. Wow. Man, there they are comes. pushing up. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. All Arkansas right. Jones, he's restarted third. He's back to 30th already. Chunk is leaning on that one car, man. Use him as a side draft. This is what we're talking about. Look at that bottom groove. They struggle immensely until you get four or five laps. I think I heard oh. somebody hit the wall. James hey. Icup behind them. They saved it again. Somebody that was lost insane. the pack. Was that making music in the last? Somebody's completely out of the draft right oh, now. Yeah, it is it the is eight making. car. I mean, he started several laps down. That makes sense. They're trying to get that thing home in There's one piece. Making sense. Up there. Who was that? Shaquille Oatmeal. <laughs> is he coming out of the pits? What's going on on that 47 like team? He might have a problem. He might. Oh no, no, he's coming out. <gasps> Whoa, he's about to cause a problem as he gets into the door of Kurt and Kyle Bush. That was a jump scare. Oh man. Oh. oh. Man. That bottom group is hanging on for dear life. They should be okay somewhat after this lap, but it's a matter of getting this far. Looks like they have successfully. We're going to see this group bunch Ooh. up a bunch. Four As you wide! See here, three, oh. four wide in the corner. Wow, you can't hear me. I got real loose center in the corner. You saw the backfire jump out of that Did thing. Raymond Hahn slam into Tathrema? I thought Tathrema slammed into the 58, but that might have just been my eyes. We all have them. Some of them don't work right. 10 laps into this race now, uh, as Kyle said, the tires starting to get the heat in them. Everything sort of shaking out this time around. Car is still getting into the wall on corner exit. I think they just don't know wow. the actual circumference of the corner. That was five wide for a second. Oh man, these guys, they are very excited to be on this nice wide racetrack. They get to, it's like a big old sandbox to them. So much room for activities. Incredible. And you have to think once these guys are able to get that grip they need, this is probably gonna become one big pack again. And from there, who knows how many wide we'll see. <laughs> like, they're going three and four wide right now, lifting. Imagine when they're full throttle. Look at Harold Claude up here. This man, old as ever. Just getting older every... Oh, there they go! Oh, they haven't crashed yet, and oh, now they're crashing. Oh it's worse than it God. could have been. Oh, oh Mario is like upside down. Oh, Brody. Oh, Holy it's like, shit! Dude, it's not just the big one. It's the fucking massive one. I oh, cop involved. How did Naked Music down. get involved? Bro was in Narnia. Oh, oh they're still man, they're still other. running into the 43 car, who's back on his wheels and driving, by the way. I can't he's believe fine. he's conscious, let alone driving. Harold has a lot of damage, guys. Yeah. He's trying to get more, too. At least he seems to be okay. 
might want to check on that 77 because Dethrema got hooked head on to that outside wall too. Oh, oh. Whoa, cars oh, are stopping. The 66 that... is just dead. Oh. Whoa. He got uh, bumped. He, he's fine now. He just needed a push. Here they come off of turn four. Just all of them getting squeezed together going four wide right there. This is never going to work. And you see Dethrema getting hooked hard into that outside wall. And then you see the 43 going over. Everybody else just kind of piles on in. Man, Rosario had a hell of a view for that. Yeah, Sue has also got a shit ton of damage in that wreck oh, as well. We didn't talk about oh, that. The two's up in the air. And here comes the eight car just back there, not slowing down. Come on, camera. Boop. He hit somebody. A lot of guys have damage. It's just a question of how bad is it. Who is that flying in later? DUI div? No! Yep, typical. Duford? What the hell? Oh! <laughs> And this is the wreck that wouldn't stop happening. They just kept dooring each other, trying to get it all straightened out. We saw Tom and Walls got stalled for a minute, got absolutely ran through by the 29 car, the Chevy SS. That's gonna happen right here, look at this. Couldn't get quite up to speed. These guys are getting passed by the cars that are up to speed. And I guess they just ran out of space here. No, no he, he came down to hit him. <laughs> Why did he aim for him? <laughs> you see that the right there. there. That right there, gentlemen, displays perfectly how much these drivers Hate Tom and Walls in that 66 team. On board the 77, one of our co-champions. Exiting the corner, he wouldn't even know anything's wrong until right about here. Oh. oh! My goodness. And he saw it all play out right there. Here comes absolutely everyone in the field. Man, he got a great view of everybody getting involved in that. He somewhere along spotter. the way. Here comes the 08 somewhere on the inside. There he is. I heard him. <laughs> my goodness. On board with old Mario Zandretti here. He's going to go for a wild ride, and we get to sit passenger seat with him while it happens. Again, just like Tathrima, probably didn't know that was going on, and then suddenly he's in the wall, and he's just looking at him, holding on for dear life. You can't see, he's to, he's to our left. Tumbling. If we could see him, he'd be flopping around. He's bolted in pretty good. Hey! And you see he's just still getting run into, just not fair. Horrible, he... horrible career for this man. We're bolting him into the seat, and we're wondering why he can't not wreck. Gonna be taking a look further back in the pack here from Blimp Biscuit. You see them getting hooked together down by the apron. And here comes that 77, just blocking the racetrack along with the 43. And then all of them getting involved. You see Harold Klott involved. He was having a great run. I was just about to say he was having such a good run today. But then you see, oh man, looks like James Icup just took out the 24 of Halifax. I had to ask Tristan what he was thinking. That could be a blessing in disguise, though, Mike. That 24 ended up missing most of the cars that wrecked. Yeah, he did get him out of the danger zone. We're going to have to talk to Bob Sled after this race. Doubling up once again here at Auto Club Speedway. We got Mateus Paiva and uh, what Willie Studs on the front row. Uh, Tristan probably fuming on top of the pit box right now, uh, silently to himself. Wherever he is on pit road, I'm not even sure. They're all, they all look the same. Um, because James Icup, uh, actually he's not that far back, but he was involved in that crash, and meanwhile, Mateus is leading. So, as they come to the restart box, they accelerate once again, and guess what? We're racing. Man, uh, yours is just ready to go. I think that 08 car is so beat up, he couldn't get going at all. Looks like these three in the back are probably going to lose the pack completely. Somebody Man. got turned, I think, right? No. But I'll I tell you, I smoke. that 43 wow. is not making minimum speed. That it's might making, be making maximum. lose the pa the 04 is missing the whole front end. So is the 29 back there. Look at him. How are these guys keeping pace? Willpower. How will it play out in this race? Not oh, the, the 24 has a problem. He's I think pitting, right? Yeah, yeah 24 car. Back down. Oh! oh, and they're wrecking big in the back. Oh, Harold Clark ate the wall. Oh, oh and man. here comes those, Dewey. Those, the slow motherfuckers. They're gonna miss it. Hard lick, and our car is destroyed. My goodness. It's Tover. Once again, turn four, Calamity Corner, once again, as they, as the greatest always said. Clam see Corner, the, yeah. The 42 and 48 decide, you know what, we both like this spot on the racetrack. And the, the three car just involved <laughs> innocently. So is Harold Klott. And you see Harold... Oh! Oh! That's gotta hurt his hips. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk to Bob. That was... It's a lot know, of damage to that car. Not ideal. He hit, he hit Harold, too, so like... Come on. It's, uh, it's punishable by uh, Redacted. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we have Harry Clotter. 
I don't think the band-aids are gonna help with this one. Oh, he was man. good, and then he just ugh. got hooked just Ooh. a little by Shaquille Oatmeal. God damn, the whole roof buckled on that hit. Almost became Oatmeal, Mike. I think Harold's gonna be alright, but he's definitely up to see the Surgeon General. I have to get some uh, prescriptions. And we're back at Auto Club. Bonds. And wh what we got going on on the front row here is Raymond Hans, right, in the 03, and Babe Juth in the 33. So, and then also the 32 and 23. So a lot of threes going on in the first two rows. And then some sevens, right? Yeah. I love numerology. The 04 Great. is still restarting up here. Yeah, those numbers are in the field, but, uh... I'm excited to see this 33 car up here, because if he's in front of everybody, he can't plow in anybody. That's so true. Chunk right behind him as well. So that's, you know, if anybody that's good for of, everybody else. Yeah, if, if anybody gets in front of those two cars, uh, good luck, buddy. Godspeed. We got they, an even restart here. So that's pretty cool. A coveted right. tow car non-jump. We don't see very many of those. I don't oh, know. the 33 almost got hooked. It's going to take a lap or two for everybody missing the front end to cycle to the back, but if we don't get that long of a run, this is going to be a problem all race. We're going to see people be a menace the whole time. Wow, is the bottom Four wide really wide lead. 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 Oh, we got one in the wall. Oh. Tom and Waltz. Oh, Tyrese huh? pitting again. Something terribly wrong on that 24 car. We're going to have to look into that a little further, but right now they are four wide, two rows back here. Man, but Matei is just five. <sighs> Way out four, in front. Three. That don't matter. Wow, it looks like they're the whole wide. Field. That's what we know. Man, oh man. We saw it before. It takes a few laps for everybody to really get these cars underneath them. But they're not racing like it's that difficult right now. Look at the one car push all the way up the hill. He's going to find a space to slot in there right in front of you. Can't hear me in the 58. Oh, he's blocking him. Raymond Brayden. Hans making a big move up there, too. Braden Bunch is slicing and dicing with the help of Daddy McBetty. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him up leading this field oh, in just a couple oh. laps if we could stay green. Oh, look at those guys. Wow. Side by side, we got Team Canada, the 70 car and the 27. Both of our Canadian friends, one robotic friend. Oh, here comes Tyrese as well. Oh, he's oh, God, hot. He's hot merge. Hot merge. Doing better than Claire and Chris at the very least. The 10 car dives to the bottom. They're going to be four wide with him. Oh, and that 29 car has got no grip, and he almost had no anything right there. That was almost real bad. He only need grip. 27's in the wall. Oh. It don't matter. Look at the 88. Kristen's got that thing rolling. Racing like a madman for basically last. Let's go. You know, that 66 car, it does have some damage, but it's all to the rear bumper. You got to think that's letting some of the drag out. That 66 might be fly flying the rest of the day, guys. Flat Stanley. Oh. Man. Whoa, Brayden Bunch pushed way up the racetrack right there. They're squishing. They're squeezing. And they're spreading. I'm really impressed with these drivers today, guys. We tried to call it. Ladies and gentlemen, we told you before in the pre-race, this is going to be an absolute show today. These guys can go all over this racetrack. Look at the 03, about to go all the way up into the wall. <laughs> Those were your guys restarting on the front row when we got that going just a few laps ago. Another all the way back here, well outside the top 10. As Willie Studs battles Tatuma Sato for the lead. Uh, currently, it's been kind of moving around, shaking around. Tatuma's getting shoved up to the top side now. And here comes the chunk. Oh. Can't decide where he wants to be. Tatuma's glued in the wall. He's going to lose some time, but he'll probably be in the pack still, at least. Chunk Is, leading the way on the bottom. Has Chunk led a lap under green and tow car yet? I don't think so, Mike. Did he lead that one? Not yet. He might lead this one, though, if Mateus has anything to say about it. He's going to potentially push the 23. Team Orange. A nope, he's going lower. Going on. Three wide. Never mind. Look at that, though. Where else are you going to see a next gen that has a Pontiac, Toyota, oh, four wide. Chevy? We got Holdens. Limburger wants the lead. Oh, wow. Willie's in the Ooh. wall, and he's stacking everybody up on the top. He's going to lead to the line. Chunk. Oh. He did it. Waiting for some There it is. It's going to go Leads to the third, lap. the third decimal point, too. We can't see Yo, it on this, but he, we got a it lap was a real car. Closer. Shaquille Oatmeal's trying to get his damn lap back. That he is. There's only one way to do it here in tow car. Oh. Let's not forget, no such thing as a lucky dog. You're going to have to earn it the hard way. And that's exactly what Shaquille Oatmeal and that 47 plans on doing. He might have picked a good time. They're getting, they're getting quadruple cheeked up back there. Oh, he's going to get in the wall. Mm -hmm. There it is. He tried too hard. 
Oh, and he's gonna lose a lot of spots. I Six think he's wide. Still wow. Maybe five. I don't know. I can't count. But oh. you can count on them crashing very soon with the way that they're racing. Man, I threw the corner just constantly. Oh my god. They're this touching. is tremendous. We don't have none of them seventh grade dance rolls out here in tow car. You can touch all you want. We're no full space. On docking tonight. No space for the Lord required. Look at this, guys. They are all over this racetrack. Oh, the 13. Pushing, pushing. Oh, Whoa, Brad geez. Oman. Jesus, H. Dude. Brad Oman got in the wall. He's going to hold that high side up. Poor Chunk this is right work. in the middle of it. And you're a car. Yeah, that's your. Oh, 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 Chunk. Hard in the wall. Come on, gather it up. That might there. be a saving grace for them, honestly, because they're about to wad oh. them up. We're about to have the everyone if we're not careful here look at these cars we got a pontiac up in the middle that's Deddy mcbetty in the 87 trying to push cheesy in the 10 car oh man 70's going for the lead bellagio asiago wants to taste the front or whatever so he might in the front he's gonna get there <laughs> if he's if he can hold it down low here this o2 is gonna give some dirty air to mateus that's gonna hurt that 32 speed a little bit whoa Willie oh. Stud's about to hurt everybody trying to stick his nose in there for five How, wide. They're not going to. They're not going to be able to keep this up for another, what, thirty laps? Nope, no, nope, oh, no. Oh, there it is, Willie. Oh, this is oh, going to be bad. Wall. He's coming flying back up, boys. Oh, he lifted a bunch. Oh, oh wow. What wow. a good job. Incredible. That was driving. amazing, and we stay green. I thought I think we were he... about to gust for bell somebody. He might be headed to pit road to fix that thing, but. <laughs> They could be preparing like a funeral right now if he wasn't careful. So thank goodness he got that thing woed up. We're still four wide, nonetheless. I thought it was about to get loud. Sound energy. Man, I've never seen people drive so low down the backstretch. How are you going to get into the corner? But like, they don't care. Hopes and dreams. You don't need grit when you got those. We're halfway. So now we have to start wondering if they can keep this thing green. Jesus. What goes on with Pit Road? This is where Tristan can really make a difference here. As James Icup comes onto the screen here, you see him down low. And consider... Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! They I was going to say, let's get a word maybe with Tristan as the 88 team is our in-race reporter, but I think he's busy. Oh, good God. Wow. I can't believe they've made it this far without having the worst... Look at this move! Team. On the apron. the apron. Wow. Look at this. Four wide Four through wide. the whole pack. <laughs> Bricked up Look once again. Curtin Kyle Bush is the leader right now. Harold, I don't think he's on the lead lap, obviously. That thing's slow, but he's he's out here. He might be Mus on the lead lap. I don't know. Muscular's atrophy almost just turned that nine car. He was pushing him through the corner. The nine washed up. Almost got hooked by the 69. Looks like they were able to sort it out. Here comes Shaquille O'Neal. How did he get up here? He was like way back on the inside line. Not even a lap ago. And now he's trying to get his lap back again. A reminder, Mike. this 47, not on the lead lap. He, he, wants, he wants to be back on the lead lap more than anything in the world right now. And he's going to do everything it takes. I it, that, that run needs to be studied. I swear, he was way back there. And suddenly, boom. And now he's falling back again. Holy shit. This that middle groove almost met each other there. That was really close. This shouldn't be hey, legal. We talked about it earlier. We thought the seven car might have a little bit too much damage to really compete. Tatuma Masato, our Daytona winner, leading this pack right now. It's amazing what can change in five seconds. Kurt and Kyle, five seconds ago, was leading. He's in the wall now and might lose this pack a little bit. And Shaquille oh. Oatmeal is cycling right back where he was the 24 a few car laps ago. Is just blocking the field now, trying to stay one one less lap down than he is. What is he right now? Uh, he's only one down. That's surprising. I saw him in the pit road several times. Well, this will be two then, I suppose. Let's not forget, though, Mike, that first time he went down there, the caution came out, got a bit of a bell out. Didn't actually get the surface penalty, though. That's why he went back down the second time. If they can get back on the lead lap, this 24 is proving they're fast. I can't believe what I'm watching, guys. Oh, Arkansas Jones was on the apron. My goodness, look at that. Insane. NASCAR could never. Oh, this is what the 550 package should have been. If it was maybe the 450 package. Let's check, <laughs> let's, let's check in on our speeds going down the back here. 211, 12, 13, probably upwards of 220 at the end of the front stretch, if not more. So uh, definitely high horsepower, but we just got good drivers. I think we finally... Daddy McBetty. 
one good season of whoa, oh, hand picking our fields. I think the we touching. finally got a good. Whew. 69 car, a man without a line right now, trying to make it happen. He has absolutely oh, no wow. help. Mario's and ready, about to lose a lap. This is gonna shake things up for oh. sure. They're shaking man. it up themselves. Here They're comes shaking. Shaquille Oatmeal once again. My goodness, this is impossible to almost. No, nope, oh, there oh, they go. Oh, here it is. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, shoot. Nope, we're He's all right. Okay, these two might get turned back up the track though. I think they're gonna be all right because the camera can't find them. All right. They're all right. Thank goodness. As the field races back to the line. Shaquille um, Oatmeal, is Shaquille be back on the lead lap? He is. He is incredible. Go, go, dude. Go, Shaquille, go. Is he back in the lead lap now, or is he one down? It, no, that's the lead He's lap right the there. He's on the lead lap. Oh, man. He that's fucking safe. did it. Oh, my the God. Caution. The caution also saved the 55 car. Big win for us in the booth. He was going to lose a lap. Look at him go. Oh, that's so oh. awesome. I'm so happy get it. for that. Let's get a replay of what happened and get situated for the potentially last run of this race. So you see here, five wide, as we saw a lot during this run. I don't know if the 10 knew it. He might have got confused by those lanes, Mike. I think he did. I think he did. I was about to say. And I, Babe Juth keeping that vehicle, making it go straight again. That's impressive. Man. And not sending it into the field right. Look at Shaquille right there. He's making the move low. On the apron. And he got his lap back doing that. Look at that run he gets just to pass to Tuma. Some of the most incredible racing we've ever seen. Oh, and he barely got it. Taking a look on board Ginger Joe here as they came off turn two. He's just chilling, vibing, relaxing, and then the 10 starts squishing down, and it ends up in him taking a little spin. Not too bad. These cars will be all right. But it has ended our long run that we were on here, and, and you know, hopefully we don't just have crashes until the end now. It would be his fault, or whoever's fault. The 10's fault. Cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Go back, what? go back I up. I see what you saw. The 04 was making a beeline for, no, forward. Oh! <laughs> we didn't see that? this at all, hold on. What the fuck was oh. that? Oh! <laughs> oh, Harold! Brother! Oh we my god! Lick for oh. missed this completely. <laughs> oh, man. Harold Dude, destroyed oh, the I wish you kept it destroyed. going at the first. Oh, man, that would have been so good. Brother, we're using it anyway. <laughs> you kidding me? Uh, take another look. Got the 04 of Suez with no snout coming off the corner. He just comes down and drives it into the 10 of GC. No reason for that. And then the 42 just driving straight instead of swerving. You know, you'll have that. And then he just slides down the track. And you know what? The track's almost clear, but here comes Harold Clot. Oh, oh, right in the door. Our season one trash champion. That is a huge, huge hit. I hope he's okay. I hope Harold's okay. That was th the worst impact you could have. These cars are definitely done for the day, but we'll have to check in, see what's going on medically. These guys. And back on back the back wheels. Yeah, he kept driving, so we know something's going on in that car. There is still intelligent life in the 42 car, but he's got to be feeling that one. Well, guys. After that last run we saw, we probably should make some picks in case we go the whole way green here. Mike, I'll start with you. Who's winning this? I, I really think we're going to get our first back-to-back, -back, well, first for the Cup Series back-to-back -back winners. I think the seven car, Tatu Masato, he was really strong last week, and he has no signs of slowing down this week. I think he's going to get it done. Matt? Um, I, I, I don't really think someone that's up front right now is going to end up winning this race. I think we're going to we're all going to get cathetered here today. Uh, 65, Chris the Catholic Keen. He's way back here right now, but that's okay. I think he's going to win to waste. And I'm going to go with somebody similar in uh, position, at least right now. That 05 car, he's kind of been laying in the weeds. Sweet baby Ray Cyrus. I think somehow that Walmart 05 car gets it in victory lane today. As okay. we saw there, Jason pulls it into the inside wall. Hopefully he doesn't hit it. Dude, Conroy on the front row. That he is. He might be in the lead too, knowing how the bottom line restarts. Pretty even so far. Strange how that just how that just happened. We do want to look. Where is um, where's Shaquille Oatmeal right now? He's back on the lead lap. He's somewhere in this there he in is. this he's group. In the back. Oh, he's right. behind the damaged cars. Oh, he's gonna... oh God! Conrad hard in the wall. 
Oh, he's still turning man. around. He's gonna... Whoa, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, little, little, little. The 04 found a way into another one. Eight, and we're racing right. back. We're racing back. That could have been course. worse. It, it might be worse bad. if we're not careful. Where's everybody else? Something might have happened off there. I think we saw it. Yeah, I think that's what split the pack. That was pretty pretty mid-pack where that hack accident occurred. Okay, sometimes you see half the field missing and you, you know, it's in our nature that they might be upside down in a fence somewhere, so you gotta always check. But Thankfully, everybody aside from the 27 and a couple others made it back. I'd like another look at things here. This is slowed down, thankfully. Looks like the 27 might have got hooked low by, I think that was Walter Cooler. And man, I can't believe, look at that whole group on the high side. Last season, every one of those cars goes full speed into the wreck. Oh. This season, they oh. almost all missed it. Bob! God, Tom and Walls took a lick. Yeah, Bob Sled got in another one, guys. Yeah, he's, he's getting it all out of his system. He knows what's coming. Going, just going three wide for the lead, coming off of turn two, off, right after the restart, you know. Aggressive early on these restarts, and that's just not going to work out, especially for the 27 and the and 66. He he hit the other Team Canada car, dude. The 27 and 70 are in the same accident every time one of them crashes, it seems. Look at Shaquille Oatmeal. Barely missing that. Oh, man, but Tom just oh. gets turned down. But, you know, the 04 is already destroyed, so nothing too bad for him. That 04 is running out of body parts to hit the wall with at this point, or other cars in this case. Yeah, that might have been the radiator that time. That's what the front clip is for. It's built to last. The field doubled up once again. Tumasato in the lead in that 7 car with Pecker Petty in the 69 alongside him. Bellagio Asiago in third, Deddy McBetty in fourth. It could be anybody's race still, guys. All of our picks still somewhere in conversation, I think, except for potentially Conroy. And here we go. Another restart. Oh, look at Mateus already. It helped with the 57 right there. Oh, they're going to get back in line. Never mind. They didn't want to get swerving. a penalty. A lot of swerving going on in these restarts. Crew Chief Duolingo in that 32 team was yelling in Portuguese at Mateus to get back in line. He happily obliged, and hopefully he'll be penalty free now. No, nope. oh, oh, no, no, never mind. And now he's backwards and stuff. Oh, self assess oh, penalty. Oh, they're plowing it. Press call. This is like, getting worse. Flying. Oh, chunks in another one. To the inside. Oh god. Yeah. Common right. walls. The, uh, All the right. Four. <laughs> Zach's, oh. oh. Make Zach's no just reason. try to get around Willie Studs with all his might. Couldn't quite do it. The rest of the field racing back to the line. Looks like they made it okay. Thankfully. Man. Certainly, this isn't the lead, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, I was worried we had a destroyed car up front. Guys, the caution's out. What are you doing? From high above. As Matt was so kindly about to say. Looks like the 05 just got hooked down the hill a little bit. Poor Mateus gets caught up in a wreck. Nothing at all oh. to do with his making. Chris Call, huge damage. My pick, the 05, huge damage. And then look at these guys. They just couldn't quite miss it. Tom and Walls gets turned by the 04. That guy's a menace today. Jeez. They've been in every crash, dude. And then uh, making music, I'm not sure what he was doing. I, I guess he was just making mistakes because he goes flying into the 04 well after this wreck had even happened. On board with the wagon. His day not going as good as it was earlier. He's caught way back in traffic and it's just not going to work out. He tries to get it slowed down, but he just Oof. gets run, run over from oh. behind. Hefty hits. Oh, Brad Omen right there. That might have been who ran into him. Get the extra large band-aids. Damn. Doubling up for yet another restart here. Gonna be going green on the lap 52. Not a long time for them to get to the front if you're in the back. We saw it earlier. Shaquille Wotmeal got to the back, or to the front from the back, I should say, very, very quickly. So we know it doesn't take too much time, but you only get so many chances. Bellagio Asiago gonna lead us to the green here. Daddy McBetty in second. And from there on, I'm sure every spot's going to change every single moment with how they've been racing all day today. Into the restart zone they go, and we're green. Nine wow. laps. Again. Mateus did it again. Jumped out of line. Jumped back in line. And they're telling oh, him. Oh, 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 oh. Braden Brunch. What's Is going on? Oh, man. Oh, it's not man. good. Oh, come on. The 05 big damage in that. My gosh. That's not what any of those guys needed. As the field gets off turn two, still packed mostly up. Leading the race back here. You know, you really need this track position. This is a big moment of the race. Who's going to get here first? Looks like the 69 is going to shoot up the middle. Oh, man. It looks like the we'll 87 is going to have help. Here comes the yeah. 13. 
70's gonna get there by a pretty good margin. They are five wide for fourth. That's insane. And let's take a look at what brought us under caution this time. Sort it out there. Come on. Someone hit the Come brakes, on. please. Come on. Come on. Ginger Joe said, I'm the leader. No, they're just catching up first. They'll be all right. Oh, they're touching. They, they want to. There they go. I got over Whoa. it. Oh. Whoa. Why you are know, we throwing blocks? You want to huddle close together for warmth so it's not cold enough for the disease to, you know, manifest inside you. It's the opposite of social distancing. Disease nuts. Let's take a look at what the frick happened here on the restart. 45 gets going. Everything's fine. And then he just stops going. And everyone avoids him. The 10 was getting around him. Just kind of turned up into him. And Oh, God. Wow. What the hell was that? Mario Zandretti moved heaven and earth to get past that wreck. I think he got through it mostly clean. Wow. Uh, the 05 got hit in a way that I can't I can't describe what I just saw. Take a listen here. He's under power so far. Gets into third gear. And it just starts going out in third gear. I don't know if it was the engine. Or he might have had a tire going down. But 10 car didn't care. He said get the fuck out of the way. Nonetheless, that 45 car got hit multiple times. It looks like it stops completely here, so I'm leaning more towards it being an engine-related issue on that 45 car. Man. Before we go green here, let's just get a quick update on that 45 car. Turns out they didn't get that thing completely full of fuel before the race. On that restart, getting up through the gears, Braden Bunch completely ran out of fuel. Lost two laps in the process there. The car's still running. He's still going to hopefully, for his sake, finish ahead of making music in that 8 car, who's two more laps down. But... Nonetheless, going to end that 45 chance of a win today. But on have... the more fortunate side of the field up here. Yep. The 70 car on the front row there with the 69. They're going to be four laps remaining on this restart. Plenty of time to make a move. But who's going to make the right one? We're green. Mateus stayed orderly that time, but other people... So, oh, here we go. Brody Craft. Brody Craft. You know, we see it time and time again. You really want to restart on the high side here in Tokar. They always get such a great launch relative to the bottom. But right now, the bottom has all the momentum in the world. Oh, that Corey help. Armagami. He tried to get to the top side. Now he's stuck in the middle. Got another snoutless car back there, the 29. He's going to be in the way for a few of these guys. But look oh. at the nine of Walter Cooler. What a Packer move. Petty is in the wall a little bit, dragging him back up top. That's Raymond Hahn stuck behind him. Three to go. And, and three I think wide for the lead. These tires, let's not forget, they've cooled down a considerable amount under these cautions. Eventually, you'd think the high side would prevail. But right now, Walter Cooler and the 87 are both making some time down on that bottom groove. Betty McBetty takes a... That uh, takes the lead here all by himself. They were three wide for the lead. Now he's oh. out there all oh. by himself trying to Limber control Limber the lanes. Limber. Limburger Asiago down to the bottom with a humongous move. He's going to clear two of those guys, if not all of them. Same kind of move he made at CRI last season. Very impressive. Don't look Dude. now. It's James Icup making his bid for the win. Laps remaining. They're going to be three and four wide in the pack here. Look at this. Corey Origami. Big move underneath Icup in that 88. He's going to go underneath the nine car. Can they make it back around to take the white? That's all we need. Oh, my God. My heart. This group uh, all the way, all bunched together right now. They're five wide for third. They are five wide coming off turn four. And I cups in the wall. Oh, uh, Tristan's throwing shit on the pit box. White flag lap. is out. One lap to settle it all. They're five wide going into turn one. And don't look now, but there goes Shaquille Oatmeal on the 47. Oh, my God. Who's going to have a better run off this corner? Ooh. 70 has oh. a bit of momentum. The 57 had a good run, but had to lift a little bit. He's still going to get clear. But is he going to be far enough ahead? That 70 is going to have a huge run on the bottom. Here they come. It all comes down to this off turn four. They're five wide for third place. Who's going to get the better run to the line? The Asiago Asiago. Limburger Asiago. The brothers to the line. Limburger Asiago. Man, the brothers Asiago had a stranglehold on the field there. The 57 going to come home in first. What a run for that 70. He can't possibly be disappointed with that. What a showing for that team. Team Cheez-It, Team Canada. Oh, they're hitting a little bit. What a race, guys.
Shaquille Oatmeal got a top 10 finish here today, guys. After oh. being a lap down, bracing for his lap back the hard way, getting it done, P10 for the newcomer. Just, it, what an incredible race. They didn't tear up too much shit. I mean, they did tear up a lot of shit, but you know what? I don't think anybody was too badly hurt today besides possibly Rustin and Ketchup and Harold. But you know what? It might even be worth it for this showing, guys. What an incredible race we had here today. Absolute classic here at Auto Club. You know, we sold this race very highly beforehand, and man, oh man, did it deliver. Our first proper photo finish, or our first close one at the very least here in Tokar. What an outstanding battle. You know, guys, after that trash race we saw yesterday, we didn't know what to expect today. But this race absolutely delivered. The 70 car had a huge run through the center of the corner in three and four. He had more of the help here, too. I thought he might be able to prevail. But that momentum up top was too much to overcome. The 57 going to beat the 70 car to the line by half a car length, maybe even less. But man, you got to think, the Asiago family is absolutely floored with this performance. They love what they see here at Auto Club. Big day for the brothers cheese. And the infield grass there is saying, Ah! Because, I mean, look at how close this is when they come into the frame. Bang! Man. And five wide for second, by the way. Look what an this. incredible pack of cars. They raced like this the whole day, too. It's not like we had a green-white checker and things got bunched up. We saw this action from lap one all the way to lap 60, guys. Well, that's going to conclude our action here today at Auto Club. Our final top 10 results. The brothers Asiago, Limburger, and Bellagio, one and two. Our Daytona winner, Tatuma Sato, P3 today. Another podium finish for them. Ginger Joe in fourth. Raymond Hans rounds out our top five in that 03 Honda. The 96 car, Corey Origami in sixth. You Can't Hear Me in 7th, 8th place for Brad Oman, the other Joe brother, good day for brothers, P9, and Shaquille Oatmeal, that hard charge to get his lap back, gonna walk away with a top 10 today, guys, man. I'm Huge. just so impressed with all these newcomers that moved up from the Trash Series, and the brand new guys like Shaquille Oatmeal. I was not disappointed by anybody today except maybe a couple people in that one wreck, but you know what? It was worth it, it was a great race, I was very impressed with everybody this weekend. Tremendous race. A true coming to form for these guys. Um, just finally got a show under their belt here in Tokar that they can walk away proud of. And I mean, that that's that's big. These guys didn't disappoint us for once. Except, you know, our friend in the 55. I won't, I won't say his name anymore. We'll Daniel we'll... Suez. Daniel Suez may have also disappointed us a little bit, but we're going to let that slide this week because he made the playoffs last year. Well, anyway, from the booth here at Auto Club, to wherever you might be listening to this tonight. Thank you, and good night. The Big Cheese. That surfboard looks like an Amogus character. <laughs> <laughs>